So we're on 7-4. Remember, we already did these first ones in class, so we're going to move on to the ones that we did not do. So we're looking at prime and composite. Remember, prime are numbers who only have one as a factor and itself, while composite numbers are numbers who have two or more factors. And remember, factors are numbers we multiply to get a certain number. So an example would be 6. The factors of 6 are how do we get 6? Well, that's 1 times 6, 2 times 3. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. So here it says tell whether each number is prime or composite. Since 6 has 1, 2, 3, 4 arrays, it has 2 or more. So this is a composite. So I'm going to put a C here. 10. I look and I see 1, 2, 3, 4 arrays. That's 2 or more, so that is also composite. For 12, I know that I can get 12 by 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So since I have more than two factors, that is composite. 97. 97, I cannot divide it by 2 because it's not even. I cannot divide it by 3 because 9 plus 7 is 16. And 16 is not divisible by 3. Can't divide it by 4 because it's not even. Can't divide it by 5 because it doesn't end in a 5. Can't divide it by 6 because it's not even. Can't divide it by 7. 8's not even. 9, again, can't divide it by 9 because one or 9 plus 7 is 16. And 16, I can't divide by 9. Can't divide it by 10. So this is a prime. For 90, I know it's 1 times 90. Since it ends in a 0, I know that's 2 times something. It doesn't ask me to find what those factors are, but I do know it's 45. 3 times 30. I also know that I can do 9 times 10. There might be other factors there, but since all I'm looking for is if it's prime or composite, since it has more than 2, it's composite. For 31, I cannot divide it by 2 because it's not even. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is not divisible by 3, so I can't divide it by 3. It's not even, so I can't do 4, 6, or 8. It's not divisible by 5, since so it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. It's not divisible by 7, nor is it divisible by 9, because 3 plus 1 equals 4, and 4 is not divisible by 9. So this is a prime number. Heading to 11. 11 is 1 and 11. There's no other factors there, so that is prime. For 44, it's 1 and 44. It's even, so I know 2 times something, and that 2 times something is 2 times 22. I also see it's 44, which is 4 times 11. Since it has six factors, that is composite. For three, the only way to get it is one times three, so that is prime. 59, it's not divisible by two because it's not even, which means it's not divisible by four, six, eight, or 10. Because remember, it would have to be even for it to be divisible by any of those. Can I divide it by three? Well, let's check five plus nine equals 14, and 14 is not divisible by three, so I can't divide it by three. Can't divide it by 5, since it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. Can't divide it by 7, nor can I divide it by 9. Can't divide it by 9, because 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. And since 14 is not divisible by 9, I cannot divide the original by 9. So that means this is a prime number. Let's head to our next one. So we have, which type of flower received a prime number of votes? So here's our tricky part. Each flower is two votes, so that means this is two, four, six, eight, ten votes. This is two, four, six. This is two, four. And half of a flower would be one, so one plus four is five. So which one is a prime number? Well, this is even for daisies, even for tulips, which aren't even, which means my daffodils, number five flowers, is my oddball. That is my prime number. How many votes are represented in the picture graph? Well, we have 5 for daffodils, plus 6 for daisies, plus 10 for tulips, which is 21. So there are 21 votes. Let's head to number 22 now. Maria says every, every number in the 90s is composite. Jackie says one number, the num one number in the 90s is prime. Who's correct? Let's list our 90s. 90, 90. So we have 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Well, let's check. All my evens will not be prime because I can have a factor of 2. So now I'm left with these ones. Well, let's see which ones are divisible by 3. Well, 99 is divisible by 3. 
because I know 3 times 33 is 99, which means I'm going to now take away groups of 3 and see what I have left with. So 99, take away 3 is 96, take away 3 is 93, take away 3 is 90. So I've eliminated 1. I know this bad boy right here, 95, is divisible by 5 since it ends in a 5. So I'm just left with these two to check. Well, remember, I always want to check 1 through 10. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I already know it's divisible by 1, all these. And I already know it's not divisible by 2 or 3 because I checked them as well as 5. So what I have left to check is 9. Oops, I forgot that 4. And 7. So let's check 9 first. 91 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 is not divisible by 9. And 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 is not divisible by 9. So neither one is divisible by 9. So now let's try 7. Well, there's no rule for 7, so I'm just going to have to do my division to check. So here we have 91 divided by 7. It goes in one time. Subtract. 7 goes into 21 three times. Subtract, and there's no left over. So this one is a composite number because it is a factor of 7. So we're going to say... Oh, so now I need to check 97. I'm sorry. So we know that 91 is composite, so we have to check 97 to see if it's prime. Well, if, 90, oops, if 91 has 7 as a factor, to easily check 97, we would just add 7. And that tells me 98 is the next one with, nine, with 7 as a factor. So this means 97 is prime. So who is correct? Well, we would say Jackie is correct. 97 is the only prime number. For 23 now, Greta says the product of two prime numbers must always be prime. Johan disagrees. Who is correct? Well, let's see if we can find an example. It says, Greta says the product of two prime numbers must always be prime. Johan disagrees. Well, let's just pick our first two easy prime numbers. So let's do 3 and 5. So Greta is saying that if we multiply them 3 times 5, we would get a prime number. Well, we know that that is incorrect because we just showed this example. So we know that Johan is correct because Johan disagrees. So I'm going to start with that. Johan is correct. And our reason why is every number other than 1 has at least two factors. If a number is also the product of two different numbers, then it has at least four factors, so it cannot be prime. So here we go. We're showing 3 times 5 are two prime numbers multiplied. It gets us 15, which is not prime. Because, why? It has four factors, being 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now let's head to 24. Janelle has 342 pennies, 62 nickels, and 12 dimes. If Janelle exchanges her coins for dollars, how many dollars will she have? How many cents? Well, what we need to do first is we need to change all of these dollars. So first, we have 342 pennies, but instead of changing it straight to dollars, let's change it all to pennies. So 12 dimes is equal to 120 pennies, and 62 nickels is equal to 62 times 5 is equal to 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So that's how many pennies we have, so let's add those all up together. And then we can easily change it back to dollars. Two, this is seven, this is seven. So we have seven dollars and seventy-two cents. It's always quiet in here. Um, did you know there's no tutoring Tuesday? Uh, no. No, there's not. Uh, okay, so, um, are you in the after school program or before school program or no? 
All right, just grab a computer and you can have free time out, okay? For number 25, we have y is 1, neither a prime number or a composite number. Remember, a prime number needs to have a factor of 1 and itself, but they also need to be different numbers. So 1 only has a factor of 1, so it's neither prime nor composite since it only has one factor. For 26, we have select all the numbers that are prime. 17 is prime. 37 is prime. 52 is not because it's even. 63 is not because we can divide it by 3. 89 is prime as well. And our last one, grab a computer. 27, select all the numbers that are composite. So remember, that's the ones that have more than one factors. 39 is composite because we can also multiply it by 3. 45 is composite because we can multiply it by 5. 54 is composite because it is even, which means we can multiply it by 2. 92 is composite because we can multiply it by 2 because it's even. 61 is our only prime number.